Back at it again with another Apex Daily Mission. This is your operator Zeus for your Omega reporting for duty. And for today's daily mission is... Distract enemy forces on bronze. So once again we're returning to Firebase Icebreaker and we're taking on the Remnant. Alright. Let's check out the mission detail and see what's going on. We need the enemy to pay attention to something other than our plan activities. Hit them as loudly as possible to draw their attention so we can deploy uh, forces covertly. Covertly. <laughs> it's late. I'm having a hard time reading English. But that's no excuse. I have a hard time reading it all the time. <laughs> anyway, modifiers is one life to live, no revives during waves. Uh, like it's like a double-edged sword. You could, you could probably uh, solo, not even get down on bronze. But if your luck turns and you get overrun, game over. So we have the awesome 20% uh, uh, experience credits, 10 mission funds, high risk, high rewards, and that awesome bronze tier for the item research data loot box for your Pathfinder rewards. So let's get this mission started. We'll go over the daily challenges once again. Daily challenge number one is Firebase Sandstorm Waves, 14 out of 14, and you unlock your first set of 30 mission funds. And daily challenge number two is Tech Mastery, uh, 35k in tech point or tech powers use, and you're good to go with another set of 30 mission funds. All right, we got Krogan Merc joining us. Nice. Character customization. Got the shorty for the Tyrion agent, the uh, Omni Capacitor. So let's throw on uh, Tech Amp and some ins no Disruptor for the remnants. Let's go, buddy. Not bad for Little Lake Krogan Mercenary. He probably has spec out for the flamethrower, but I kind of lean towards the fortification and flat cannon build. Especially if you have a spec out for stun and shrapnel, 100 points of damage for over 8 seconds, so like 800 points of damage. Um, damage over time type of thing, the dot. And having it stunned for 2 seconds, so he's not firing back at you, he's stunned. So for 2 seconds, guarantee 200 points of damage and whatever you unleash on him you just melt them left and right especially if you're running with like a shotgun I highly recommend the shorty if you got it if you don't you could what's the one shotgun that isn't an ultra rare that comes to mind scatter shots uh, hell even the the katana special still kicks ass mm -hmm. Disciple. I think that's uh, uncommon. I'm trying to remember the shotguns. The Ruzad. That big old shotgun with the blade. That's also uncommon. Hmm. I gotta read my shotgun list again. But surprisingly, uh, if it wasn't for the shorty, I wouldn't. I didn't use shotguns that much. It's kind of, um, are you guys wondering, yeah, but you have that mastery of the shotguns done. It's probably the first or second one I got completed. No, third. Because I got the assault rifles, pistol, shotgun, then sniper, I'd say, for last. Let's see. I'm just waiting until the teammate down. I could have picked a different class since I already mastered the tank, but hell, tyranny agent for the win. I did start off with uh, the gold with the uh, our garden exemplar, badass with the combos, but I felt like I got more points for tech use with the tyranny agent, just with the cloak, tech visor, All clear. and the flamethrower. 
These are broken, said some more. Said the Krogan, nevermore. Flamethrower from above. This here, let's go over there. Uh, what other things I just wanted to rant and talk about? Ooh, I know by the time this video goes up, uh, it's probably tomorrow. It's like 11 p.m. I'm a little late on the on the bronze. I usually get it done a, a little bit after 10, or right on reset. But have fun uh, gaming with my friends on platinum. And I swear, sometimes I feel like when I do gold, it it feels like a bronze game or something. Uh, Platinum does give that challenge back, like how gold was, uh, getting the characters maxed out. But back to my original point. Um, it's still Wednesday night. It's like a little bit past 11. But tomorrow, uh, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, Bioware once again. Like they usually do on a average Thursday morning, they're gonna have a live stream talking about new content for multiplayer and what's coming up. Cause I know we have at least four more character kits to be introduced, and I've seen kind of like preview pictures on the on the Reddit uh, ME Co-op. And thanks again for uh, all the people that left the comments and links to that. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to do more. And I wonder if I can actually post uh, my videos or something on a Reddit page to get more uh, more views because I want this channel to grow. And I was like telling the people I'm playing Platinum with and all that. Because I don't like to bring it up like straight out like, oh, I'm a YouTuber and all that. No. I do it gradually because I don't want to be like pushy or what's the word like in your face with them I'm, I'm a casual not really casual I put good like eight hours a day that's not casual I put a good time and effort into this and I want people to see because there's like crazy YouTubers and all that stuff. And I don't see that many like dedicated daily videos on Mass Effect Andromeda. So I'm trying to do more of a... I do these every day. Uh, store update, uh, new information that's dropped on us on Thursday with the, after the live stream. And uh... Let's see other things. Like, good news that drops and bad news that drops. Sometimes you see on Twitter. You guys saw how I was, like, devastated when they did, or when they announced no more story DLC. Or single player DLC. I think that's a big mistake. Because the one thing Mass Effect is known for the original trilogy is the awesome storylines. The... Especially the DLCs. The DLCs are well made, well done. Watch your ass. Oh, oh, no, no! You ain't taking my shields down. Yeah, stick together. You'd be fine, guys. All right, what was the thought I was saying? Yeah, uh, like I was saying, uh, YouTube channel and all that. I, I, I guess you call it like a little update for the channel right about now. Because 
I want to do more content. I was hoping for a story DLC, but that ain't gonna happen. So, I'm like, only thing we got is like multiplayer because I do that every day. So, if you guys got like questions or like, because, uh, have, at some point I'm gonna do the weapon reviews. I just want to get all the variants upgraded to the max level. Get the max level on the standard ultra rares, but I'll probably save the ultra rares for last. Definitely the character builds are coming, especially with the new characters being released. Oh, back to that, what I was mentioning about that Emmy co-op reddit stream. Did see some uh, like pictures, screenshots that were taken. The new powers, not new powers, uh, warp. Traditional biotic power 101 from uh, the original trilogy. It was <laughs> I'm glad they brought it back. I kind of wish uh, you could also use it in single player, but that's another thing for another day. But I'm glad to see that it, it acts as a uh, primer and a detonator all at once, and you don't have to unlock a spell or a rank on the skill tree. Rank one, it's a detonation and a primer. Uh, he's gonna blow. Move, move, move. Yeah, because I'm gonna try to find like Reddit pages or somewhere I can like put links. Hey, come check out my channel. Check this out. And just get the word out. And that's what um, a bunch of you guys have been saying. Because I get comments like awesome videos and all that stuff. And for such a, I don't want to say time and investment, but what's the word? Hmm. I can't think of the word. Sources say key data is scattered around this area. Find and recover Destroyer. that data. Hey, big guy. I'll just take those two guys out. Um, a lot of dedication to do the vi the videos and doing them on the daily. And I haven't seen any other YouTubers that do Mass Effect videos on the daily. And the ones they do it, they they do like one, not even one a week. Uh, like the occasional platinum video and. And uh, occasion to build video, but it was like every other week they have multiple games. Yeah, I know. I kind of wish I had that. We got Destiny 2 that's coming up, Athens, Assassin's Creed. But main focus is the Mass Effect and see what's going to be happening because I want to know what news and what they're planning, especially for N7 Day. Hell, <laughs> they may have a DLC for us on the N7 day. Just three hostiles remaining. Cause if they say like on um, that um, Enemies down. Keep your guard up. update they did on their blog, saying about the storyline for the Korean arc, it's gonna be continued in the comments or comic books, not comments. Graphic novels. Um, Get yourself to the LZ. Cause I know original their original plan was uh I think it was a DLC to go along with the comic because they did something similar to bridge the story arc from uh, Mass Effect uh two to three uh, what happened with Shepard's body? Oh, that was from 1 to 2. When they got resurrected by Cerberus. And I remember the story arc from the the DLC from Omega DLC from Mass Effect 3. How Arya got uh, 
kicked out of Omega. Uh, basically how we ended up with those alien creatures from the comics into the game. That was pretty awesome. So, basically in the short run, hopefully we get some good news, some good intel on the live stream. I'll probably relay the information on what's new in the shop and the mission for the weekly reset. And if we get a new character kit drop tomorrow, if not, it'll probably be one next week. And talk about new character kits, this is coming back to what I was mentioning from that. Uh, comments that uh, you guys left in the uh, reddit page I saw like pictures of the new armor the four human they gotta be rare so they're not gonna be ultra rare but just seeing two of them have warp in warp was highly missed when the game launched Let's see if I can find that page real quick. Because for me to help grow this channel, get my uh Basically, my channel notice. I I gotta find a way to get you guys to see what I'm doing, and I want to do a lot of things. Yeah, it's late at night. I can't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> 